So I'm going to give you uh, an overview of, of the process of hemostasis now um, and the different parts of, of controlling blood loss. And I'll start by controlling the what I describe as the four key stages, the four key key parts of of stopping blood loss. And I'll I'll demonstrate it by uh we'll draw a blood vessel here. The blood vessel's got got a hole in it. Um here's all the the collagen fibers surrounding it. And so at this stage blood is uh blood escaping through this hole. And there's four key key parts to, to stopping this Stopping, stopping this blood loss. Two, three, four. Um, and the first is vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction. Um, both from the um, the damage to the wall itself and from um, many factors that are released by platelets, the um, the smooth smooth muscle in the vessel wall contracts, and this narrows the lumen of the blood vessel and as you can readily understand this will reduce blood loss out this hole. The second key part is the formation of a platelet plug. Platelet plug. Uh, and this is one of the most important parts of, of the chain of events. Uh, platelets usually are flowing along through the blood vessels absolutely fine. Uh, it's prevented from sticking by the by the smooth lining of the vessel wall and other factors, um, but in here they, they're coming into contact with the collagen, and they they change their characteristics dramatically. We'll go into more detail later. But ultimately, they 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 they, um, they become uh, adherent, uh, they become um, activated, and they begin to aggregate. So th the three A's. So they adhere to the wall here. They uh, become activated. They release a lot of other factors, uh, which uh, feed back to both the the coagulation process and the vasoconstriction process and feedback to themselves um, which all causes aggregation so they stick to each other and the end result of this is the formation of a platelet plug this is a collection of platelets that are all stuck to each other that are stuck to the collagen and in the vessel wall and you have you've blocked the hole now the platelets have formed a plug that have blocked the hole and uh, blood loss is now stopped However, this isn't this isn't an entirely stable plug. It's um, it's it risks becoming um, dislodged. So uh, the third step is is the stabilization of this of this hole really of this plug, and a stabilized plug is called a fibrin clot. Now, I'll describe the um, the process in detail later. But the fibrin clot is 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 when the coagulation cascade results in the formation of fibrin filaments. The coagulation cascade is quite a complex chain of events, but the end result is the formation of these fibrin filaments, which form strands that bond the platelets together. They they attach to the platelets, they attach to themselves in, in strong covalent bonds, and they strengthen this platelet plug that was already controlling blood loss and they trap all the platelets, they trap red blood cells and they form a stable blockage called the fibrin clot and so blood loss has now been stopped by the vasoconstriction uh, by the platelet plug and that platelet plug has been strengthened by fibrin filaments which have formed a strong fibrin clot. So blood loss has been controlled, what happens next? I describe it as resolution because this clot can do one of two things now. It can either, if it's like it is here, it's blocking a hole in the blood vessel wall, there's a hole is developed, it will um, stay in place whilst the blood vessel wall heals itself. It becomes invaded by fibroblasts, uh, these, uh, these start to heal the wall whilst the clot is in place um, and the clot stays there for that process. The second possibility is that this clot has developed somewhere else um, where it's not needed. For instance, it's uh, developed out here in the tissues. Um, as we can see here, there's, uh, it's developed out here, and the body realizes that it doesn't need it doesn't need it there, so it um, it dissolves, and it's broken up by by a process of fibrinolysis, which we'll discuss later. Um, 
but that is the other option of what that's the other possibility of what happens to this clot. Now, as you can see, this is a, you know this is a series of, of of four different key parts in the, in the chain of events, but these are all occurring and interacting in a more complex way than than simple one, two, three, four in order. And whilst we know that all the, that those are the, the, the four main parts of it. I'm going to draw it in a slightly different way, which which will help you um, appreciate the, the 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 timing aspect and the the interrelation of those factors. And we'll start with um, at the top vessel damage. So this is the injury to the vessel wall that's that's occurred, and all these things start simultaneously. So over here. We've got um, we've got the vasoconstriction, vasoconstriction, and in the middle we've got platelets being uh, becoming adherent, becoming activated, and aggregating. And then over on this side we will have the activation of the coagulation cascade. So all these things, all these three things, they've got different mediate, different um, mediators, but they they're all kickstart at the same time. And the platelets, as I said, were a very key central role to this. They feed back, they cause um, further vasoconstriction, they promote uh, activation of the coagulation cascade. They're pivotal in in much of the coagulation cascade, and they go on to form this platelet plug. So this platelet uh, plug that um, is now controlling um, controlling uh, blood loss, it's preventing blood loss um, and there's ongoing vasoconstriction as well at the same time. Now whilst this is controlling blood loss we have the coagulation, coagulation cascade occurring, it is um, through the chain of events that we'll describe later, it is forming the fibrin strands. So it's forming fibrin filaments, and the end result of this is they interact with the platelet plug and stabilize it, and we will get the fibrin clot. So the action of fibrin and the platelet plug, we have a stable fibrin clot, and blood loss has been prevented. As I said before, what's this fibrin clot going to do now? it is going to do one of two things it is either going to stay in place so the blood vessel heals or it's going to undergo lysis and this is a uh, this is the overall um, a, a more realistic representation of what is actually going on yes we've understood the, the key parts we have the vasoconstriction we have a platelet plug we have um, development into a fibrin clot which will then either uh, heal or, or, or break break down but this is all going on um, simultaneously it's interacting in a complex way you've got vasoconstriction going on you've got platelets aggregating uh, adhering and, and activating which uh, promotes vasoconstriction which promotes a coagulation cascade that had already been started by the vessel damage um, and these are combining to form after a platelet plug fibrin filaments stabilize it and form a stable fibrin clot and we will go into the details of each of these different components now um, but as long as you've got a good overview um, of that being the main part then it will make it much easier to appreciate the different different components